If we do not move swiftly to sign the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act into law, an economy that is already in crisis will be faced with catastrophe. This is not my assessment. This is not Nancy Pelosi's assessment. This is the assessment of the best economists in the country. This is the assessment of some of the former advisors of some of the same folks who are making these criticisms right now. Millions more Americans will lose their jobs. Homes will be lost. Families will go without health care. Our crippling dependence on foreign oil will continue. That is the price of inaction. This isn't some abstract debate. Last week we learned that many of America's largest corporations already laid off thousands and are planning to lay off tens of thousands of more workers. Today we learned that in the previous week the number of new unemployment claims jumped to 626,000. Tomorrow we're expecting another dismal jobs report on top of the half a million jobs that were lost last month, on top of the half a million jobs that were lost the month before that, on top of the 2.6 million jobs that were lost last year. Now for you, these aren't just statistics. This is not a game. This is not a contest for who's in power and who's up and who's down. These are your constituents. These are families you know and you care about. And I believe that, that it is important for us to set aside some of the gamesmanship in this town and get something done. Now, I believe... I, I just want to repeat, because I don't want any confusion here. I believe that legislation of this enormous magnitude, that by necessity we are moving quickly. We're not moving quickly because we're trying to jam something down people's throats. We're moving quickly because we're told that if we don't move quickly, that the economy is going to keep on getting worse. We'll have another two or three or four million jobs lost this year. I'd love to be leisurely about this. My staff is worn out working around the clock. So is David Obie's staff. So is Nancy Pelosi's staff. We're not doing this because uh, we think this is a, a, a lark. We're doing this because people are counting on us. So legislation of this magnitude deserves the scrutiny that it's received. And all of you will get another chance to vote for this bill in the days to come. But I urge all of us not to make the perfect the enemy of the absolutely necessary. Understand, the scale and the scope of this plan is right. 